Reality Wrestling 142. As always, you'll find the link below for this show. It was an okay show. I'm going to get rid of the segments in the back. I really... I felt they were the weakest thing of the entire show. There were some alright ones, but... Let's get on with the interviews of Evan Snow, the champion. Evan Snow, to me, feels very weak as a champion. But I will say, at least, he understands that if you're going to get your point across to the fans... You must look at the camera. Now, a couple of people who did their interviews understood that. He did. Talking about Gino saying, well, you know what? You want to give me another, you want another shot at me? Fine. I have no problem doing it. Why? He beat him and he cheated the last time. So, I don't understand the reason why they're using him in this, this capacity. In fact, I don't know why they're using him as champ anyway. I just don't feel like he's a credible champ. He just seems very generic. Good in the ring. Charismatic in the ring. But character sucks. Now I know a lot of people say, well you know indies, they don't always do the character development right. Not all the time you can say that. Look at Team Death Bear. Their characters are well developed and very well done. But Evan Snow, just it's not 100% the fault of the writers. He's just not that charismatic. Then you got Jason. I feel he could become charismatic. He has some aspects of, uh, of charisma. But here's his problem. Using his name as a gimmick sucks. I just don't like it. Jason. He's a Jason. Why doing the accent over the A makes it interesting? It's not interesting. I'm sorry, the gimmick sucks. It just it, it sucks. It sucks. Abel Andrew Jackson is a very well-developed character. Very well done. And let's get to Abel Andrew Jackson against, what is it, Bo Koom Powell? Powell? <laughs> I couldn't pronounce that name myself, uh, as hard as I want. I will mispronounce Bo Koom. Boku Pao. I, if I'm pronouncing it right, wonderful. The only problem is, no. I gotta give me, give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta prepare for this. No animations! They did so well in the last show. And here they almost did none. Why? 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 Why are they so inconsistent with the animations for the names of the people? There's always going to be someone new looking at their product. Why do they do this? Why? Why? I want to look at Booker T. If I met Booker T, I'd be here. He'd be here. I'd be looking up at him like this. If my head was like that, I'd say, Booker T, I love you, man. You're a great, great wrestler. You're a great promoter. But why the blue fuck don't you make sure your show has freaking animations? Come on. I know you don't have a lot of money like WWE and TNA and RH. Come on. I know that. But you need to be more consistent. If you could only do the, the animations for the ring, make sure it's for the ring. If it's for the interviews, make sure for its interviews. If it's for the backstage segments only, make sure it's for the backstage segments only. Why are you trying to sprinkle it everywhere when it looks cheap and garbagey? Sorry. Was the match between Bo Kun Powell and Abel Andrew Jackson good? Yes. Bo Kun Powell really did pretty well. Or Boo Kun Powell. Sorry, I said Bo. I said Boo. Boo Kun Powell did a pretty good job. I like him. He kind of reminds me of someone. And I don't know who he reminds me of. I could say he kind of reminds me of TJ Perkins. But there wasn't enough interaction in the ring to really get a good gauge. I need to see him more than once. But Abel got some help from, you know, you know him, you love him. The crowd loves Stevie Ray. They love when he fucks with everybody. And he messes up the match so Abel Andrew Jackson can win. I'm fine with that. Next, Sean Stubb versus Taylor. Here's the problem with Taylor. He doesn't look like a wrestler. And I'm not saying that because he's black. I want people to understand this. There are people who look like they are wrestlers. It doesn't matter if they're black, white, Asian colored, any color. You have a certain look. And I don't mean phys physically like big bulky guys. You can be a heavy set guy like a Sean Studd. He's just a big guy, yet he's not really muscled out. He doesn't have to be. He's a big guy. But when you look at 
what was the guy's name? Um, I can't remember his first name, but Taylor just does not look like a wrestler. He looks like a fan who wanted to become a wrestler, and no matter, even if he has wrestled, he just doesn't look like one in the shape he's in. I'm just being honest here. I don't look like a wrestler. I may be a skinnyish guy with a belly because I can't really exercise the way I want. But you know what? I just don't have the physique of a wrestler right now. I should look like I have the physique of a wrestler if, not that I exercise, but have the right, what would be the right word to use here? It would be the proper mannerisms in the ring. I mean, I watched the guy wrestle. He isn't bad, but he looks like, the way he wrestles, a fan that has only been partially trained. He looks like a fan physically that's been partially trained. He acts like a fan that's been partially trained. So he jobbed like a fan that was partially trained. It really wasn't that great for Sean Studd. Now this guy, Ben, what is it, Harrison? He looks like a big, nasty dude. But because we've not seen him in the ring, he just looks like a big, nasty dude that probably doesn't know how to wrestle. The same thing with Taylor, I gotta say for Harrison. He just does not look like a wrestler. He looks like a big ass dude that'll kick your ass. Now that's what we do need in wrestling. We need guys that can kick someone's ass. Look at the... Hmm. Look at how the Road Warriors were. They just look like they'll beat the fucking shit out of you. This is what this guy looks like. Doesn't mean he'll do well in the ring. We don't know. The little segment in the back where he didn't say anything, I approve. You don't always need to say anything when there's an interview. Kylie Ray did an interview. I'll say this about Kylie. She knows how to look at the screen. She knows how to look at that camera. That is something that is a lost art in wrestling. A lot of people don't understand. When you look at the person who's interviewing you, you're not really giving your full emotions to the people. You're giving part of your emotion. The other part must be to the camera. The camera is your friend. We don't look at the camera, it don't work. And she knows how to make it work, but let's be honest. The character she has sucks. It's very, very girly and cutesy. And she doesn't fit like a girly, cutesy girl. If she looked really young, kind of like a, an Alexa Bliss, she could get away with that, acting really sweet. But wanting to, being angry, like, mm, like that, you know? I just sounded so weird. Please don't anybody do a pause on pause on me, no. Uh, so, forget about that. But if you look at her, she doesn't look like a young girl. She looks like a woman trying to act like a girl. I can say with Alexa Bliss in WWE, she looks like a teenager. So she could get away with it. Kylie can't. And it just doesn't work. And where was, um, what was her name? Hogan. I can't remember her name. Um, Tierra Hogan, I believe her name was that. Why did we get Miranda instead of the one who won the freaking match? I wanted to see the person who won the match. Why couldn't you do a short segment with her instead of Miranda? I don't hate Miranda, but it should be the winner of the match, not the loser. That's just me. And, um, let's see. That's it. Title match. Team Death Pair. Death Pair. Death Bear versus Alpha Unit. Are you Beta? Are you Alpha? <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. I love that line. That line is so good for these guys. They have a look of guys that are former, for, former soldiers who became wrestlers. They act like guys who are former soldiers that become wrestlers. They remind me of Sergeant Slaughter. Okay, you maggots. We're going to do 10, 10, 10 squats. Get down and do it. Get it done. Something like that. But let's be honest. Do you actually believe that Alpha Unit's ready to become champs? No. Team Death Bear has been given so much promotion 
and the ability to be able to talk so they can show their ability to, to talk. Look, Davidson, Ron Davidson is the most charismatic person between the two. Team him up with Stevie Ray. Team him up with Abel Andrew Jackson. You got gold. And there's no way they're just going to let them job now. They're just too over. Now, I know a lot of people don't like them. They hate them. That's the purpose of them. You hate and you love to hate them. When Stevie Ray was kicked out because he was like, oh, wow, oh, he's about to do the kung fu on that guy. He's about to kung fu his ass. What happened? He got his ass thrown out. You saw the guy that said, no. He did not want Stevie Ray to leave because everyone loves Stevie Ray. Stevie Ray is one of the most over managers I've seen in years. In any promotion, he's easily higher than Lana when she was really hot. And I know that's saying a lot, but if you see in this narrow view of a promotion that has very limited and very, very, not just limited time to do this stuff, but also limited budget, it's obvious if there was a larger budget, he would show a lot more charismatic ability that would easily rival Lana or exceed her. Not because he's a guy, it's because he's just more charismatic than her. And that's saying a lot from a Lana. Because I love me some Lana. That is a gorgeous, oh my gosh. How that guy landed her and married her, he's just a lucky guy. Anyway, back to the match that I love the most. Hoodwinked. Oh my, I don't think I'm going to use that. I still think I should say Death Bear is Alpha. But Hoodwinked is also a good word to say. Because what happened? The ref gets knocked out. Andrew and, oh my gosh, I'm botching right now. Abel comes out. He throws one of the guys out in Alpha Unit. And then because he's wearing the same clothes, he lays his ass down and gets a freaking pin. I haven't seen something like that in years. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen anything like that in years. And I'm not talking about something that New Day's done in the last year and a half. I know they've done things similar to that. But we're talking about a heel team doing something against a face team with a ref knocked down. That we haven't seen in a long while. And seeing Abel do this, I love, I, I, I went, what the, f no way he didn't. That is the feeling I had. I enjoyed this segment. It was beautifully done. Could have been better? Yes. Could the lighting been better? Oh, yes, please. I wish they would do something about the lighting. The camera work is still shabby to a point. The audio is still kind of bad. And the lighting sucks. But did I enjoy the show? Yes. Do I want more out of this show? I wish the Diamonds would have more time. Yes, I would. I would easily for them to forego doing the segments showing the previous most important wrestling moments of last week for more action. I know the way they do it, but still, I wouldn't mind seeing it. <sighs> Just know that this was a good show and it could have been better. But it was still good. But it's just why my... <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I want to rush to make it sound right. But then I just screw it up. I hope you enjoy this. Reality Wrestling 142. Please give me a comment below. You guys. I want to say this before I end this. Because this will probably be my last video for the year. Because it's almost New Year's Day. I want to say thank you to everyone who's watched. I... I thank you for every person. If you don't comment anymore, if you do, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. This has been one of the most hardest years I've had in recent memory. And one of the things that made this tolerable was you guys. I know I've said this throughout the year, but I mean what I say. I'm, I'm like Naomi. I wear my heart on my sleeve. I tell you and show you how I feel. And I thank you guys for what you've given me. I mean, you gave me a chance to be able to express myself. And you cared enough about me to say just a few kind words. And honestly, that really means more to me than a bag of gold. And I know that's saying a lot because I would like a bag of gold because I need money. <laughs> but for me, I'm happy. 
Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good night. And have a happy new year.